What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. <clears throat> Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I'm fucking attempting to do October readings, but they keep getting cut off or they keep fucking up. So this is my second try with Aquarius. And basically what I got out of this the first time I tried this was that you guys are getting a lot of attention in October. You're getting negative attention. Like, you're not really being recognized for the person that you are. You're, just, for some reason, people kind of got you fucked up. <laughs> um, when it comes to your job, some of you guys aren't going to be getting um, a promotion that you deserve. And you know that. So you're, like, ready to walk. Um, I've seen a lot of different soulmate energy. I've seen a lot of energy where you guys are, like, balancing out your emotions. And all of the internal work that you're doing, like, when you're healing, you're bringing people into your life where you might have to make a decision. Because I feel like you just kind of been sitting back, like, all this time you have spent, like, on your own and healing and resting is, like, really balancing you out. Or maybe you need to know that, but at the same time, you need to have a conversation with somebody in your life where you, um, you feel like you're stuck in a situation with somebody that you either want to leave or someone is just like, you feel like someone's going to leave because it's like not going anywhere. Like you're mentally conflicted, but when it comes to your job, I feel like you're either dealing with someone from your job or um, there's a pregnancy for some of you, or it's about making a decision about what it is you wanna do for work. Like what makes you happy, you know? Um, I think that there is a water sign that's here that either like they make you smile or vice versa but it's like you don't really tell people things about your life or like what you're actually going through instead you're just kind of like your energy is backwards and um your emotions are like you're not really expressing them you don't want to talk about it and it's like you're really fucking mad about this job situation like you're about to snap out on somebody and leave but this new beginning that you're going to have, it's like you are going to be building on something where um, some of you guys like want this new beginning, but it, it involves you leaving behind like a toxic situation and maybe you just now noticed that but when you do notice that then there's gonna be like the stability here for you it's like I think that in reality all you want is loyalty but it's like you never really got that you kind of got um, It's like you almost regret something or there's just like this energy of um, like you're thinking about something or this could be a gift like because you have a soulmate here but you're being defensive or they're being defensive. Someone isn't saying how they feel because it's like maybe you don't want there to be negative attention or you don't want to bring attention to the fact that there's this person like you don't want all this drama but at the same time you're still kind of holding on to this energy of um you know losing things you're paying attention to what you lost and not what you have i mean because if you look at the picture the two of cups isn't going anywhere the two of cups is your partnership it's like do you even notice or are you paying attention to the people that broke your heart basically you know it's like you're cutting people out and I think I make a decision but it's like you're really confused and you don't know how to tell someone that like you need things to be equal when it comes to your emotions with this person because that's the only way that you're really fulfilled and that is what is going to basically change your life and bring you into this energy of, yeah, maybe someone did break your heart or you're just afraid to close out a cycle because it's going to break someone's heart. But at the same time, this is something you learn. This is something you needed to learn. It seems like it's pretty karmic for you, but it's like your wish is here, you know, and then along with that, you're going to have a choice to make. Like, which way do you want to go? Like, 
there's someone in your life that either could be like really loyal to you, but I feel like it's going to bring in this wheel of fortune, like it's turning in your favor, especially when it comes to an earth sign for some of you. I think that your advice would be to kind of turn away from these um, fire signs. One of them is really, um, I mean, it's a snake above this guy's head. Like, they don't have very good intentions, I don't think. And you're kind of standing firm in this. And it's like you put, you want to put time or you'll be putting time. Like, you're going to have your own ideas about what you want to do with money. And along with that, maybe some of you guys are either getting married or... Like, the way you love people is very <laughs> traditional, and um, I feel like basically you just want people to be your friend, or, like, maybe your friends are the ones that's causing drama in your life, because I think that there was, like, an ending here. That's kind of what caused you to um, maybe branch out. <laughs> I think there's a Scorpio in your life, um, or maybe just the ending overall to having a bunch of choices and maybe making that choice for yourself, like knowing what it is that you want, because there again, the two of cups isn't going anywhere, and I think that the more that you love and heal yourself, or this could be who you're dealing with, that's what's going to bring the stability and like moving forward. Some of you guys are definitely moving forward with either a Cancer or Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but I think that, um... You just want to be happy and you want to be with someone that you care about and I think that you're manifesting that into your life to be honest but it's like you need to kind of weigh things out and you need to make a decision because um, there's something that you want to do something that you have this idea but it's like are you acting on it because I don't know if you are. And then there's a love offer here that can bring you fulfillment, but that's going to mean you need to change the direction of your life and it's going to bring about good things for you. But it also means that there's heartbreak here. You know, maybe this is why you're being defensive. This is why you have to make a decision about this attention. Like you guys are like definitely running away from something. Like it's almost like you don't want this attention and you're just kind of like something was done behind your back or you're not really telling people like that you want to leave or you just took a lot of losses and there's something that you need to say there's something you need to talk about but you're not and it's like you've been waiting for a long time for um you know things to happen in your life and it's like you just want this stability and this I see it coming in for you it's someone that you're supposed to be with some idea that could make you a lot of money but it's going to be on your own and I see a marriage but I think that you need to realize that not everyone you deal with is gonna you know let you carry everything on your own you don't have to do that you don't have to hide from your emotions and pull away from everyone like you can trust someone because this is the king of cups in reverse like this is either drinking too much someone kind of their communication is a little bit rough and i think that you're kind of holding back from a water sign but i think that there's like there's money here, but it's going to involve you, like, leaving something behind. And you're balancing your emotions out. I see, like, the first week in October. So maybe before you weren't. And then you kind of have to figure out, you know, you're kind of still stuck in your head. Like, you feel like you're stuck or you feel like you can't make this decision because you're, like, tied and bound to something. But what you're tied and bound to is people that give you the wrong kind of attention people that do shit behind your back you know what i mean you don't have to be stuck in that energy this is really low vibrational energy to be honest and then it, the last week in october goes into you know the four of pentacles like you're keeping to yourself you're not really opening up to anyone it's like you want to but you don't know how 
And then when it comes to like an equal give and take, you know, some maybe you need help with your finances or maybe you just want someone that truly cares about you for you without, you know, it having to do with money. But I do see the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor here, but it is going to involve you kind of turning back on something in your life here. Using more logic than passion, using... Um, It's almost like you're leaving something, but then there's love being offered. Like as soon as you leave and then you're going to have to make a decision, you don't want to make this decision. You're kind of stubborn and you're really stuck in your head about this. It could be an earth sign or it just could be like you working a lot. You want to work on this because you see this person as very loyal and understanding and down to earth. And it's kind of is your soulmate here, my friends, you know. Um, but it's like you're not really paying attention to that because maybe you're not interested. <laughs> maybe you want to go in a different direction. Or maybe if you're wondering if this fire sign is your soulmate, they're not. Sorry. You're going to realize the things that you walked away from were very toxic or that some something that you got away from was really toxic and it's going to bring in a lot of stability and money for you in the month of October and you're going to be really happy and then there's like new beginnings and it's like you're getting whatever you're wishing for is here you know and you're going to know what decision you want to make in October like you're going to be able to see things clearly you're going to know what path you want to go on and it's like there's this really small love offer here from the Empress. And um, the Empress is someone who's like above all queens. Like she sits on her throne. She waits for someone to come to her. She doesn't do shit. Like she makes things happen. Like she's the one who, you know, um, gives birth to all these new ideas. Like she's like represents like abundance. Like this really good parent. Someone um, where it's like new things but it's positive everything's abundant like money whatever you know and she knows who she is and I feel like for some reason maybe you have yet to choose your direction but it's like she knows but she's like waiting for you to tell her something waiting for you to communicate you know um, maybe how you truly feel because I think that you just you're not trusting your intuition and that's why you're stuck in the situation that you're in there's an ending here but it's like in order for new things to happen you kind of have to get over this um, negative ass thought process about what you lost and what people did to you and make a decision about which way you want to go because you guys are super fucking stressed out because it's like you've been waiting for stuff. But at the same time, if you don't walk away from like this negative shit, then how is anything new supposed to come in? You know, there's someone in your life who is like this independent person who is going to help heal you. Like, I feel like it's a, it's like you guys are going to heal each other. But it does involve you moving away from something like maybe a literal move and kind of telling this person how you feel like maybe you want a relationship with them or maybe they want a relationship with you, but you guys aren't really talking about it. And it's like, I see you being really fulfilled. You know, I see you kind of doing shit on your own, not really telling people, but it's like this person um, is building her roots. Like this is someone who's grounded and... <sighs> these abandonment issues are still here like this is something that maybe you're afraid to leave a situation because there's children involved maybe you're like you're not understanding that it's something about a wish that you made i think whatever wish that you made is going to happen because the eight and nine of cups so it's like you made this wish a long time ago maybe it was like when you were eight years old, maybe eight years ago, whatever kind of wish you made for your life is going to happen because it's like the magician is here. But that does involve ending shit with people that just want to fucking fight all the time. You know, 
um, fighting for the right things, saying the right things, not being stuck in your head about, you know, all these mixed feelings, because I feel like you do have some things that are changing in your life and it's going to bring you into this place where you're really stable and it's going to put you in like, I think that there is a cycle. Of, okay, well, this is one of two things. There's a cycle that's ending with the earth sign for some of you because you needed to have boundaries with them and you didn't. And I think you're learning this karmic lesson. But along with that, you kind of have to defend yourself when it comes to your job and make a, de a decision about what it is that you like, who you love. Um, because there is good energy here, like someone that you're really happy with you know um someone who is your soulmate but you do need to kind of um this is a really big change in direction for your life it's a lot of love here you know being offered to you 